Hi, I'm Stacey from the National Farmers Federation. Agriculture can be a great industry to work in, however it can be dangerous. High instances of injury and even death means we need to make farm safety a priority. The good news is you can take four simple steps to improve safety on your farm. One is identify the hazard, two assess the risk, three remove or control the risk and four review. I'm here to visit Tom Graham, a farmer from Kulak, who also happens to be a vet. Tom's going to walk us through how he manages farm safety risks in his stockyards. G'day Stacey, G'day, how are Tom. you? Welcome to Review. It's nice to be here. Let me show you around the yards. Sounds good. So Tom, step one is identifying hazards. We need to have a good look around the yards and ask ourselves, can somebody be hurt? So set up properly, uh, yards are safer, easier and more efficient to work in. The people working in the yards make a big difference to how effectively things operate. If you take the crush for example, one of the more important parts is design and maintenance of the crush. It is important to also remember that the best design crushes can still be dangerous. And that takes us to step two of the process, which is assessing the risk. What could happen here? I've seen things from broken limbs to cuts and abrasions, and particularly at the front end, people have lost teeth from the bars hitting them in the mouth. Tom, step three is removing or controlling the risk. It's not practical to get rid of the crush. So what have you done to remove or control the risk that is here? There's a couple of primary things up the front in the working area. Uh, as you can see, we've replaced the ratchet arm system. The arm on the old head bale was getting dangerous. If I close this gate, we also provide a safe and secure working area. The cattle are out here. We're in here, we can get on with the job at hand without being too worried about what's happening out there behind us. So what you've done here is isolate the risk by keeping a safe distance between the people and the cattle. Yeah, exactly. Tom, once you've identified the hazard, you've assessed the risk and you've done what you can to remove or control the risk, now it's time for step four, which is to check that it all works. That's something you can do at any time, but right now, what can we do to have a look at things we've done earlier today? Well, firstly, we'll just check our gate to make sure we are actually secure in here. And then uh, Kimberly's going to bring a bull up and we're going to catch him in the head bale and check out that everything is actually effective. And Stacey with a fairly big bull seems to be effective in holding him. So Tom, we're done for the day now. That was pretty simple actually. Thanks for showing us around, we'll let you get back to work. Thanks Stacey. It's important to keep records to make sure what you've done is working. You can use a simple checklist or you may prefer a smartphone or a tablet to take photos or to make notes. And if you ever do have an incident, records help demonstrate what you've done to keep people safe. For more information, go to farmsafe.org.au.